This conference will now be recorded. In this video, we will discuss navigation in Dynamics 365. Dynamics 365 is built out of applications called apps, areas, and entities. Let's start with discussing apps. A Dynamics 365 application provides a collection of entities used by specific departments, such as marketing, sales, or finance. If I click on the app listed in the top blue ribbon, it will open the app selector menu. The apps you see listed in your app selector menu will depend on which apps you have licensed. All of the apps listed in the app selector menu operate on the same database as one another. So settings made in one app will affect all of the other apps. In order to move between apps, click on the current app in the top blue ribbon to switch between the Sales Hub app and your other Dynamics 365 app. Let's discuss entities in a little more detail. Entities represent a specific type of data, such as activities, accounts, contacts, leads, or cases. Each entity consists of a collection of individual records. The contacts entity, for example, each record describes a single person, and each record includes a collection of fields, such as email address, company name, and business phone. Entities normally present two views, a list view, as shown here, which is typically a table listing available records, and a form view, which shows all available fields and settings for a single record, as seen here. You can use the side navigator to move between entities in your current work area. A work area is a subdivision of an app dedicated to a specific feature, such as sales, event management, marketing, or app settings. Each work area provides a targeted collection of entities for working in that area. Once you've selected the app and the work area you want to work in, it's easy to get around Dynamics 365. Let's discuss some of the primary navigation elements. To the left, you'll see the navigation bar. Here we have a few different buttons. If I click the Home button, it will take you to the home page you have selected in your personal settings. This is an individual user setting. This collapse and expand button here collapses the navigation bar to allow for more room when viewing Dynamics 365, or it can expand it if you want to read all of the entities listed. Expand the recently viewed records entry to view a list of records or views that you are recently using. You can select a record here to open it, and you can select the push pin icon next to a record or a view listed to add it to your favorite or pinned record. This entry can be expanded to view and open your favorite records and views. Use the recent records list to add records here, as just discussed. You can select the remove pin icon next to a record listed here to remove it from this list. It's great to have this list so that if you're working with a customer a lot right now, or if you're constantly navigating to specific views, you're always just a couple clicks away by having them in your pinned items entry. When you first open an entity to view a record, you'll see the list view, as discussed when we viewed our contacts entity. This shows a list of records belonging to that entity formatted as a table. For example, as you see here, we're seeing a list of all contact records that are in Dynamics 365 and that we have permission to view. As you navigate in Dynamics 365, you'll notice that most of the time the cursor is a hand and sometimes it's an arrow. So here we have an arrow, now we have a hand. Anytime the cursor changes to a hand, you're clicking on a link to a new record. If you click on a record, you'll see all of the details about that record. 
Usually you'll open a record view by selecting a record that appears in a list, but you can also open a record view by following a link from a related record. So I could click on this account here and it would take me to the account listed in the account name field on the contact record. If we get back to the contact record, let's spend a little time talking about this record. Most record views are divided into tabs, as we see here at the top of the contact record. Each tab provides a collection of related fields from that record. When tabs are available, they're listed right below the record name. You can select any tab to go to that tab. And whatever current tab you're viewing will be shown as underlined. Each form provides a collection of fields from that record, and some types of records provide just one form while some provide several. The form can be changed here, and the current form that you're on is always shown below the record name near the top of the page. To change the form view and get a different layout and a different set of fields, you can click the down arrow next to the form view, which will open a menu, and then select the new form that you want. The commands in the command bar allow you to operate on the current record or perform a task related to the record. The available commands will vary based on the record type, but you can typically use the command bar to perform actions such as deactivating the record, refreshing the page, emailing someone a link to this record, or reassigning the record owner. In the main body of the record view, you'll find all of the fields related to the current tab that's selected, the form view that you're on, and the record type itself. These fields are specific to this type of record and this tab and this form. Fields marked with a red asterisk are required fields. You can't save the record without these fields having a valid value. Fields marked with a blue plus sign are especially important or recommended, but they are not strictly required. Fields showing a locked icon, such as originating lead in the details tab, cannot be edited. Locked fields are usually edited somewhere else in the system and are simply displayed on other records. Nearly all type of records show a related tab after you have saved them at least once. This tab is actually a drop down list that you can find other types of records that use or reference the display record. For example, if we view the account and go to the related records, we could view the opportunity to view a list of all opportunities related to this customer account. When you choose an entity name from the related drop-down list, a new tab for that entity opens, showing a list of all related records of that type. On the account record, you'll notice there are several. This list can be customized so that you can get to different records that you need to see or remove records that may be just getting in your way. The related tab still remains available even once you've selected a related record, and you can still use it to find other types of records that reference the current one, the account we're on. Now let's talk about some of the options we have available to us in the top blue ribbon um, called the um, top of Dynamics 365, such as quick create, searching, and updating settings. The Quick Create command makes it fast and easy to enter almost any type of information into the system. The command is on the navigation bar, also referred to as the nav bar sometimes. So it's always available whenever you need to enter new information into the system. With Quick Create forms, your app can have streamlined data entry experience with full support for logic defined by forms, scripts, and business rules. With Quick Create, you, you can select the entity you want to Quick Create, and this list can be customized. So for example, if I click on a lead, 
you'll notice that I don't, it's not going to open an entire lead form. It's just going to give me a few fields that are especially important to complete so that I can save it. Later, when I have more time or more information, I can fill it in with more detail. Now let's discuss the search functionality. This is also found in the navigation bar. So you can easily get to the search icon from wherever you are in Dynamics 365. To find your records quickly in Dynamics 365, you can search across multiple record types all at the same time. The results of the search are shown in groups sorted by entity type. So for example, if I search for Alpine Ski House, I'll see the records that contain a field with all of the words in the search term, such as accounts, contacts, leads, and more. If I didn't want to type the entire Alpine Ski House phrase, I could add a wildcard and just type the word ski. The wildcard opens up your search results. So now I have a new contact listed in my search result because the last name ends in ski, but it's not necessarily just the word ski standalone. You can also configure which entities are returned in the search results. Lastly, this gear icon allows you to navigate to personal and advanced settings. Personalization settings are specific to your user in Dynamics 365, while advanced settings, usually updated only by system administrators, will change settings for all users across Dynamics 365. This concludes the basic navigation in Dynamics 365. Please contact us to request a personal demo, get support, or access our resource library.